Hey guys, I'm about to go into my very first day of work um, at my new job, and I thought, you know, what would be a better time than to talk about, you know, getting laid off as someone who has just gone through it, and really, day one of a new job is when you finally have completed the sort of going through it process. So today we're going to talk a little bit about... Um, you know, getting laid off, how to make sure you're prepared, and talk in the past about how I've been laid off and how I wasn't prepared and how that sort of cost me. I'd like to take the moment to thank our long-term sponsor, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. I've been working with Dev Mountain for about two years now and I've interviewed hundreds not hundreds but I've interviewed many candidates from there and I've met a lot of few one of one of their graduates is my good friend engineer truth who's uh, enjoyed the program I've even visited uh, back when they had their Provo Utah campus which was absolutely gorgeous so uh, if you're interested in any sort of coding boot camp iOS development web development um, UI UX quality assurance I suggest you give them a consideration at devmountain.com so um, you know, getting laid off doesn't have to always be one of those things that, you know, kills you. Uh, and uh, the problem is that in, in America, at least, something like 90% of people can't afford a $500 paycheck, which or $500 uh, random bill, which can kill you. So, um, you know, that's where I was at. The very first time I ever got laid off, I was about 22, and I was a full-time student, uh, but I was working at a um, data center, uh, writing tech blogs and going to events and summarizing it and getting video and things like that um, And you know, I was just at like a Jamba Juice or something like that getting a smoothie with a buddy of mine and uh, Yeah, I walked out. And he's like hey, every, everything good. I was like, yeah, I just got laid off <laughs> so uh, in that case that's a contract role, which is um, You know one reason why I don't do contract roles uh, just because you are the first to be cut typically uh, when things happen so in that instance, I didn't have a lot of money. I wasn't making a lot of money, and I, I wasn't smart with my money. And so, um, you know, it hurt. It hurt so much that I had to, uh, my lease was up in a month, and luckily that, that worked out. But I had to uh, borrow, borrow money from April, who wasn't making too much. She was making like $10, $12 an hour um, to make sure I was able to make that final rent payment. And uh, it put a little bit of a strain in our relationship because... I had planned a vacation, like a little mini vacation, just to, uh, you know, say, show her. I loved her and I took her to, uh, an, <laughs> it's a, it doesn't sound like a very good vacation, but I took her to an Indian conceit, you know, um, and I got her like a nice room and it was a bad idea for a vacation, but it was, it was something she was excited about. And I, I was sort of, uh, I it was something we couldn't afford, but she was so excited we had to go and do it anyhow, even after she lent me money for rent. Um, anyhow. So financially, you always want to be prepared. Um, that's not really a layoff I really consider, but I think it's kind of important to bring up because a lot of people aren't going to be getting laid off as developers and have a job the very next day and, you know, aren't going to make $100,000, you know, $150,000, whatever it is, or even $60,000. Some, some, a lot of people watching this channel probably make $20,000 a year, and the idea of being able to save three, four five thousand dollars for a three to six month expenses is something that i can see i understand that that's a it's a multi-year task on that sort of income with what bills you have to pay so um you know i can say in that situation and i it, it affected me a lot more than getting laid off currently just so um you know i got laid off as and my entire team i should say got laid off and, um, you know, that was one of those things where I just started a new job. So keep that in mind. It's like sometimes people think, oh, you're starting a new job. You can't get laid off. Wrong. Uh, so I uh, I remember coming home to April before I got laid off. And so they don't really have that much work for me to do. Um, we were just le released the beta of the app. It's about two months in. Um, about two and a half months I was laid off. And... They don't really seem all that excited about the beta. They're not giving us any feedback. They're not letting us know how it's going. We haven't got any new feature requests. Something's off. Like, you, usually when you launch, usually when you invest, you know, quarter million, half million, million dollars into a product, you're excited about it. When it goes out, you're excited about it. Um, 
even even on the infancy stage where you're just releasing the you know milestone point one you're excited about it you you want to see you want to see returns on your investment you want to see that product you envisioned uh go out there and um april goes sounds like y'all gonna get fired <laughs> and i was like oh shit you're you're right um they pay us way too much money like just me they're paying me 50 plus dollars an hour and then all the benefits and everything and i'm sitting here twiddling my thumbs they're they're gonna lay us off you're right and um that's when i started looking so you got to look out for those um those warning signs because they do exist um financially uh is the easy part nowadays as crazy as it sounds being financially prepared so um i've been a um, dave ramsey follower for for a year or two but even before i started watching some of his videos on youtube I've, I've, I've done all the bad mistakes. I've done credit card debt and had to suffer with paying interest and paying it back. And I've lived beyond my means. I've made all of the financial mistakes, so I, I've sort of learned my lessons. So now I have no debt. Now I have money in the bank. And, um, you know, I keep my expenses low. All that sort of stuff so that if something like this does happen, I do have six months of expenses covered, no problem, no questions asked, which is nice. Um, so uh, that's the first thing you want to make sure you take care of. The second thing is always have your resume up to date. And the reason I say that is I, I commonly update my resume about once every two or three months. Not necessarily because I'm looking to leave, but because every quarter or so you do something really cool. You know, maybe you're, it's very easy to forget the minute details of things you've worked on in three or four months at a time or three months at a time. And so what I like to do is if there's a good bullet point, I'll say, okay, cool, I worked with service workers, client-side caching, whatever. Boom, let's put that bullet point on there um, so that I can have a nice, healthy one sentence about it because that's that's how recruiters like it to be. I also, um, you know, I accept those recruiter invites. I accept those, hey, we're interested in a job. I accept them and say, you know, I'm not, this doesn't really seem like a good fit, but let's connect because those are the people who are going to get you jobs when you're you're out of one. Um, and so getting another job is relatively easily easy i i know for me at this point in my career now it may be different for you as you're starting your career because there's a giant difference between getting <laughs> getting laid off when you have experience versus getting laid off when you don't have experience because companies in abundance want people with experience and they want good people they um you know i can't say that's necessarily the same if you're a junior developer um it's going to be a little bit harder and it's not to say it's not there's not challenges as a senior dev. I have to turn away nine out of ten roles because it's just so pay enough. Um, so I'm limiting my options, and that's that sort of a brings us to another good point is you want to have a good outlook on sort of your situation. No one wants to get fired. No one wants to get laid off. No one wants to be let go and be like, oh, well that sucks. I guess onward to the next one. Right? It's not a, it's not a good feeling. And I, I can tell you for me personally, there's a little bit of an emotional toll on it. I'm not a super emotional guy, but I, I definitely for like a week, even though I, I kind of knew it was coming, you never really know until it happens. But, you know, you have that inkling um, that it was, I definitely felt not myself. I felt like I was affected by the situation and, you know, April could tell that I was having problems and just sort of sleeping in a little bit later, um, a little bit more grouchy, a little bit upset, a little bit just like, why did this happen to me? Uh, sort of thing. All things that you can do for about one, two days tops and you got to move on. Um, and you know, I did after a few days, but like there's, there's definitely this sort of emotional aspect to it, which you need to change your outlook on it. So, you know, when you get laid off, what happens? Well, you have more experience than you had when you took that job. And now because of it, you're worth more. And so like, if you take that outlook where you're like, cool, I can go get more money. I can go get a better job, which is what I did. In total, I probably got between increased salary and benefits, 30 to $40,000. Um, sometimes it's hard to count up those benefits, but around there compared to my previous job, I had a much larger and better organization and like if i just took that outlook like okay cool you know what this these things happen and for the most part you try to you then you go let me go find a better job let me go find a job that i'm much more interested in that's gonna do better for me 
and go on. So, um, you know, it's a little bit about getting laid off. Other than that, the only other thing I would say is just be prepared, not financially, but skill wise. Skill wise is one of the things. There's so many people, and this is not just developers, there's so many people that are just like, I'm just going to keep going to work. They're going to keep cutting me checks, and uh, I'm not really going to get any better. It's going to be great. Uh, <laughs> and so they have that mentality, as crazy as it sounds. And I've worked with some of you contractors, you know who you are, uh, that you write one line of code a week and hand it in because the company isn't one of those companies that lay people off. You'd be surprised how many companies you'll just keep people on the payroll. It's so hard to find technical people. They just keep them on and hope things work out. Um, they never do. Uh, but <laughs> they, that is a thing that happens. Um, so be prepared. Skill-wise, be prepared. Um, you know, Your resume literally should every year have something new stand out on it just at least one or two things um you know like this year i'm working on all these side projects but one thing i want to get on there is an agile and scrum certification that's something i want on my resume because companies find it valuable and so that's one thing that i'm going to add outside of work don't just say oh i'm just going to learn what's at work take a step take a plan to learn some additional things outside of work because Every workplace is different and you're not going to just, when you when you get laid off and you need new skills and you need, you, you don't wanna have to ramp up to that. That's a, you're already in a weird place. So make sure you go and gain some skills that aren't necessarily related to your current job because it's gonna help you down the road. It's gonna expose you to a lot more. And so that will make you more um, applicable to other roles because every organization is slightly different even in the same sort of job category. So. Keep that in mind. But uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope none of you are getting laid off anytime soon. But if you did, uh, and ha let me know and let others know in the comments below how you handled it and what you know, what was the ups, what was the downs, all that, all that sort of uh, unfortunate stuff. But uh, with that being said, check out my courses in the description below. Get them for just ten dollars, as well as my uh, books that I recommend. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my 100 Algorithm Challenge course, get you prepped for those technical interviews to make sure you get nice offers. I, I actually just added some new content to it so you can get prepared for those technical phone screens as well. There's a link in the description to get it for just $9.99.